how can you have 13 shades of Becky, one shade of Jordan, and two shades of Shaniqua? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I'm gonna give you my say on the Tarte foundation drama that's going on right now. Now, for some reason, I feel like maybe God was gonna tell me something because I ordered mine like a week ago, literally at the start of the week. And I was told it was going to be here like in a couple of days, two or three days. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I get to do my review, you know, ahead of everybody else. At that time, a lot of people hadn't even, you know, put out their videos. But for some reason, DHL was just saying to me, you know what? We're not going to give you your package. We're going to give you everything else. I had other packages that came from DHL that arrived at my house. But then that particular tart package did not want to come here. It was like... They kept saying I wasn't home when I was home. But anyway, I finally got it now. Obviously, I feel like I'm already like a week late already, but I'm gonna give my take on it. Tarte launched their Shape Tape Foundation, which is supposed to be like the, the sister to the Shape Tape concealers. Everyone knows how big the concealers I know have been. And I think it was like named the top concealer of 2017 or something like that. So everybody was so excited for the foundation version. This is what the shade range looks like. They came out with 15 foundation shades, a matte version and a hydrating version. So if you had dry skin, you know, you get the hydrating version. If you have oily skin, you go for the matte version. And um, yeah, the shade range was, was a mess basically. So basically we had <laughs> we had 15 shades and you can see the spectrum, there was literally two shades for people of color. So obviously in the beach world, everyone's gonna go crazy. I feel like it's 2018. This shouldn't still be a thing. And personally for me, I've always felt like Tarte wasn't a brand that I, you know, went to for, you know, for complexion products, for anything women of color, to be honest. So it it had never bothered me in the past, whatever they brought out. I've never tried any of their previous foundations. So I don't know what their shade range looks like, but from what I can see, I feel like a lot of people were saying, you know, you know, oh, this is unacceptable, you know, it was on purpose, they did this on purpose, they literally launched 15 shades and had 13 light shades and like two dark shades, and they did it on purpose. I think what really set people up and why people got so mad, why people were really, really mad was the fact that when people had now brought it to their attention and leaving comments, I, obviously I understand being bombarded with comments and like attack and all that kind of stuff can be a bit of a overwhelming but you are a big brand, multi-billion, multi-million, whatever brand you should be able to take criticism whether it's constructive or not um, so they started blocking people you're seeing the people upset about this and they brought it to your attention the sensible thing and the professional thing to do is to take it on board but you're blocking people and then it then let out a statement saying something along the lines of we are definitely expanding our shade range and we feel like people tend to be lighter during the colder months or the colder seasons and i'm like eh wait 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 so you're telling me that everybody in the entire world fits into vanilla so me being a dark caramel chocolate so because in the winter i get lighter i'm gonna start using vanilla does that make sense to you like what so everyone is supposed to fit into the first 13 shades and then the leather and then there's other like the odd couple of you know dark deep skin tones does that make sense to you i get that it's just foundation and i get that there are other brands that do cater to us but it's just the fact that they actually had no intention of even including us and i i don't understand how you can be aware of all the new launches that have you know all the new brands that have launched like say fenty for instance you're aware of that and I don't know if they were working on the foundation line before Fenty arrived or not but nobody in the entire office was able to point out that this was a bit this was kind of looking a little left a little wrong how can you have 13 shades of Becky one shade of Jordan and two shades of Shaniqua I don't understand even to the fairest people on the other end of the spectrum also had issues too like there's honestly there's actually nothing wrong with bringing out 15 shades but please let there be like a gradient from light to dark from what i know there is about six categories fair light medium medium tan i think fair light medium medium tan deep and medium and dark deep something like that there might even be a seventh one seventh category so at least have two shades in each category and each shade 
is still a gradient, has a gradient effect going downwards. How are you gonna have all the same shade and then jump to like mahogany and chestnut? I, I, I don't understand. Obviously, I know there are brands who don't cater to women of color in the slightest. They didn't have them in mind, but I feel like if you're going to attempt to even put a bit of orange or a bit of brown in your in your shade range, please get it right. Please be aware that there's, there isn't just one or two shades of brown. If you're going to attempt, at least try. Like, they didn't try. I feel like they didn't try at all. I also feel like they had no intention of bringing out any more shades until they got called out. I felt like this was it for them. They were happy with their 15 and they were good to go. Their apology was whack and I know a lot of people would now be boycotting them. It's up to you what you want to do. I won't tell you to throw things away. You know, it's your money you've spent on it. You do what you need to do. Think, you know, make the decision for yourself what you want to support and what you don't. To me, there is no much, there isn't any point keep attacking and attacking and attacking and writing essays. The way to really hurt them is to hurt their pockets which is to not purchase from them writing essays and comments isn't going to do it's going to keep it's going to they're going to see it they can't ignore it but they're still going to make their sales take your coins stop investing in those brands who actually don't actually want to try to include us and put it into the brands who do there are far too many brands who do this already whether they have 30 or 20 or 40 or whatever there's so many brands Mac, from the very beginning we're doing it for you know women of color people of color you have fenty you have lancome maybelline even maybelline drugstore have extended their shade range rimmel you know they're trying they're not trying hard enough but at least they tried they tried l'oreal as well so like if they can do it why can't you so i feel like I don't want to hear any more noise about tarts. I'm tired of seeing tarts everywhere. I really feel for the really, really dark, deep um, people of colour because they struggle a lot. And also the, the other side, the really, really fair um, people as well. I don't have a foundation shade in everything. Like, I don't have a foundation shade in the SL Lord Double Wear, and it's one of the most, the pop most popular foundation of all time. I don't have a shade in the Fenty, also very popular. But like, at least with those two, I can try and mix, as much as I hate mixing, I feel like mixing should stop in 2018, mixing shades. Brands should be well aware of how many different undertones and shade ranges they are. And to tell me that it's much harder to create dark skin foundation is a, the biggest load of bullshit I've ever heard in my life. At least give us the option to mix. The fact that there's not even any option to even mix, there's no even opportunity to mix anything. Unfortunately for me, I did purchase it with my money, so what can I do? They didn't even give me like an invoice to return it, so I can't even return it. They said, oh, this person looks like a woman of color, a person of color. We're not gonna give her any option to return it, because I literally, no invoice, no receipt, nothing. All I have is an email. I don't know if it's, if it's gonna be possible to return it. I doubt anyone's gonna buy it off me, but I guess I don't have a choice but to put it on Depop or something, but I have the three shades. I only got the matte one. I didn't realize that the hydrating foundations were a little bit different in the shades. I get it, it's, it's, it sounds like it's just foundation, but it does go a lot deeper than that. And the more that we make people aware, make brands aware of this, the better it should be. It's a shame that it's, it has, this year hasn't even started and it's already a mess. For me, what I would usually do is just to focus on the ones that I do and just give my money to them. But I do need to use my platform and speak on this because it's a shame. Maybe they wanted exposure. They say you're going to you know, bring out 10 shades later on. Why can you do it all at the same time? If you have the money to be doing tripping with tarts and taking influences on some lavish holiday, on top of also gifting them with thousands and thousands worth of stuff, not makeup, like tech, you know, you have the budget. You could have waited to say, oh, the hype, the hype, no. If a product doesn't come out, what are we gonna do? All we gotta do is just wait, you know? What can we do? But you wanted to make a quick book, you wanted to profit from this, and you rushed it, just brought out whatever, and thought it was gonna fly. Clearly it didn't fly. I won't do a review because I feel like I that means I want you to go and purchase it. It's up to you what you want to do, but let me swatch the foundation shades. I know obviously it seems like such a waste of time, but this is deep honey. So it has a really thick, like a really thick, you know, applicator. This is deep honey. 
as you can see that's nowhere near i mean um um, even for my chest, it is quite light for my chest. I usually match my foundation like to my neck because my chest, as you can see, is way light. I specifically wore this outfit just to show you that I don't, you know, mismatch myself. My chest is the lightest part of my body, and obviously, my face is, you know, darker. Down from that is rich sand. As you can see, rich sand is on the red side. I'm not sure what the camera is showing you, but if it's slightly darker, this will work for you. No. To match that to my chest, no. And the next one, the next one after that is mahogany. So this is this is it. This is it guys. Just imagine. Going to a store all excited. And then this is this is it. Like even this is not even this is not even a woman of color shade. This is like this is definitely like a medium tan. Like we literally only got two shades, guys. Two shades. That's it. Like that's it. Look at how red it is. Like it's ridiculous. Like seriously, no. With that being said, we're gonna use a different foundation for this video. We're gonna use the NARS, the new NARS foundation. This is a natural radial long wear foundation. Now NARS have extended their shade range as well. So why not feature them in this video? My shade is Marquise. I think it's a medium deep with yellow undertones. At first, I wasn't sure what shade I was because I ordered it online. I don't have a wet beauty blender, so I'm gonna use a brush. So at first I was like, this is like kind of light for me, but I feel like this foundation warmed up to my skin. Like it literally just warmed up to my skin after a few minutes. This foundation has covered most of my face. There are some, like I had a dark mark here, which obviously I'd have to go in on a little bit it didn't come it didn't cover it completely but it's not supposed to be a full full coverage foundation but it's supposed to look like it's full but still look like skin if that makes sense obviously NARS are famous for their radiant foundation so you're not going to get that Kat Von D or Huda Beauty effect to your face Let me just do something quick to my lids. I have no idea what I'm going to do to my eyes, but I'm going to use the Morphe Dare to Create Shadow Palette. And it looks like this. I am definitely loving this lighting and this setup right now because everything is not getting washed out. Now, seeing as Tarte is cancelled and everything else, we have an alternative. So if you know about the Tarte Shade Concealers, there's a new arrival in town. It's the Makeup Revolution Conceal and the Fine Concealers. I've had this for about a couple of weeks now. I was gonna do a video solely on reviewing them, but I'm gonna add it to this video as soon as like, you know, we're still, we're kind of on that, you know, subject. So I was able to grab um, seven of the 18 shades, so all the, you know, the darker shades. There they are. I have C12 to C18. C12, C13, C14, C15, C16, C17, C18. Okay, so these are the concealers I would consider for deeper skin tones. Um, um, I feel like the shade range could have been better. I would definitely swap around some of these shades. This is C16, I would have put that after C13 just because of the color and then just let it go like that but it's a little bit of a job i wish i wish there was a yellow more of a yellow concealer shade so this is the kat von d for instance let me show you what the yellow looks like this is what i would have wanted i would have wanted something like this i'm looking at it my you know my under eye concealer shade would have to be c13 it's it's very close to my skin tone we're gonna have to work with that anyway okay so this concealer is retail for four pounds they're supposed to be cheaper than the shape tape but Really and truly, this is only 3.4 mil. The shape tape is 10 mil, and the Revolution Make Revolution is 3.4 mil. So even though this is supposed to be four pounds, the shape tape is 28 pounds. If you really work it out, if you were to make this up to 10 mil, 
it's gonna be about oh my maths what is my maths calculation right now over 10 pounds for 10 mil so if you're going by how much this is it's only 3.4 mil then i guess it's cheap but if we're really comparing prices it's really not that cheap they're just throwing at you four pounds, four pounds. You think, oh, it's so cheap. But if you really calculate it, it's not as cheap as, you know, it's still cheaper than the shape tape. Anyway, this is 13. So I'm going to apply this under my eye. The application is pretty much the same. So I'm just going to apply that under my eye. I'm going to try and apply a generous amount so I can like cover my deep set under eye. Okay, so the concealer is going to dry up now. Let me blend that out. You can see it's really close it's honestly very close to my skin tone i'm gonna add a little bit of c12 but i do agree this is kind of full coverage um it's literally covered everything obviously i do have my deep set under eye so I kind of have to add a little bit extra just so I can conceal it. Okay, my little little my little dark spot there is still showing through, so I do have to add a little bit more. For the most part, this is pretty good. It is pretty good. But if I add a little bit of the 12, it does, you know, bring it out a little bit. So yeah, I'd have to. <laughs> I'd have to mix the 12 with it basically. Now I wanted to try the Patrick Star setting powder. I am a little bit scared just because it's more of a pink powder. I usually like to use yellow. You probably can't even see that, but it's it's supposed to it's supposed to look pink anyway. I feel like to get what I want, I should probably use my yellow, but I'm gonna try it on one side and then see how that looks. Let's say it's translucent, so it should literally disappear once I blend it out. I'm gonna do both sides just to see. Maybe I should probably have used a dry sponge. It honestly just, it literally disappears. It looks, it does look quite nice. I like it. I actually like it. It doesn't look too overpowering. Obviously close up, you can you can see my under eye folds are still there. Let me put a little bit, I'm gonna put a little bit of the yellow. Let's see what the yellow does. It's like such a nightmare I have a need and I'm not even able to get like filler because they said I don't need it. I'm like, can you not see my under eye? Like it's a mess. Okay, we're gonna use 16 to contour because that's the warmest one. The last two shades are quite um, on the cool tone side. So we're gonna use 16. Also on the perimeter of my forehead. This is my finished look. I am now gonna go about my day and check back with you and how the foundation and the concealer have worn. Right now my face is looking quite matte with a little bit of a glow, obviously because I've highlighted my face. And the concealer is looking like, looking quite good. It's no creasing or anything from what I can see. So, so far so good. So I'm gonna go now and I'll be back in a few hours. Okay, so I am back. It has approximately been about seven, seven and a half hours. I'm so tired, so I feel like let me go and check in right now. I have to say, um, the foundation is looking quite dewy in a sense. It's like a glow. It's not like, oh my gosh, I need to grab my blot powder. It's not too bad. I feel like sometimes you kind of need that healthy look, especially during the colder months. It's like, it gets really dry. So it kind of gives like kind of a healthy look. So all over my forehead, definitely 
a little bit of my chin, my nose area, you know, but it's not like over, it's not like, it's not wow, like you need to grab your blood powder, you look like a frying pan. It's not too bad. The, the concealer, honestly, no creasing whatsoever. The only thing I'm gonna say is the next time I feel like I'm gonna have to color correct just because, you know, like I said, I have my deep set under eyes, so it does create like a shadow. So maybe if I color correct it, it would, you know, fill in those areas and then obviously the, the concealer will look perfect but honestly no creasing whatsoever it looks flawless i don't know how it's gonna look after 16 hours though i will update you maybe in another video or in the description box or something but um i do see it getting a lot more dewy than it is right now i definitely see that happening so i definitely see myself having to block the areas where I would blot are just above my brows. I don't like it when it's too shiny above my brows. It does say it's transfer free, but it's definitely not transfer free. It's just to bear that in mind. I have not come across a foundation that does not transfer, but um, yeah, it's definitely not transfer free. So I would not advise you going to hug your boyfriend anytime soon with a white shirt on. Honestly, right now it's not bad. I look refreshed, I look healthy. If you're wanting like, kind of like a full coverage effect, you know, high coverage, full coverage with, with you know, with that glow, that natural glow then this is the foundation for you if you want the all matte stay away from the foundation but like i said it's only been about seven hours so i i really can't give you i don't know if that's a fair is that is that fair is that, is that fair assessment of the foundation let me know what you guys think how you found it i have seen a few mixed reviews on this foundation this is definitely a winter foundation definitely not a summer foundation if you're oily skin if you're really really oily i probably won't recommend it Unless you like the dewy, that dewy look, that dewy finish. If you're extremely oily, I probably wouldn't recommend this foundation. The concealer, despite the fact that, you know, the shade range is a little bit, a little bit off in some areas. I feel like they tried. <laughs> so my shade in the shape tape is deep. Just to show you what that looks like. It has a little bit of yellow in that. And then this is 13. So, um, on camera it looks like it matches, but Tarte has a slight bit of yellow to it. I feel like it was quite on the cool tone. It was like one warm shade, but that was like an all over shade. I think Tarte should, you know, should, you know, take a few notes. But in terms of highlighting, there could have been some more yellow shades in there too, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I hope this video was helpful. It was kind of like a two, two to three in one review video. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't checked out my previous videos, make sure you do so. I will put them in the video maybe here somewhere. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do so too. And make sure you don't forget to hit the bell button so you get notified. I still get some DMs from people saying they, don't, they still don't get my notifications to my videos. You might need to unsubscribe and subscribe again and then click the bell button and um, that could help. But usually on Snapchat, I let you know when I have a new video. And by the way, if you have any suggestions for videos, let me know. If anything you want me to you know, put out for you, let me know and I'll try to get onto it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.